M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my videos learning the Mashtastic off-grid system. Today we're tinkering with the Lilygo. I really like this one because it came preloaded, although I did update the firmware. And it's now connected to my PC because we did update the firmware. I'm going to show you how we do this. I won't run it again. So this is the T-Beam, it has built-in GPS, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And if you've not used the Meshtastic LoRa, let's call it LoRa radio system before, they are small radios that have built-in, this system has, this, you know, this particular device has built-in GPS and Bluetooth. And they send messages and position data, you know, within the range of the frequency we're using here is 868 megahertz. I believe in the USA it's 915. You can get ones that are 433 megahertz, but that's, that's you know, that's a separate subject. So to flash the phone, it's really simple. You connect it to your computer with a decent USB cable. If we go to right click here on the Windows Square Device Manager, you'll see that it will show up with a COM number. And in our case, it's COM11, CH9102, but it's COM11, okay? So to flash it, all we do is go to the drop down here, and I'll put the link in the description, which is called flasher.mishtastic. And scroll down, it's T-Beam, but as you can see, all these different devices are available. So you, you've got to thank Mishtastic team for all the work they've put into this. Um, and so there you are, there's the flash. Then you select your your firmware and nearly always people are suggesting to me, load the beta one. So that's what I've been doing, okay? Beta, once you select beta, you click flash and it just does it. It literally just does it for you. It takes about four minutes and it will flash and then at the end of it, your item will straight away start asking for a Bluetooth connection. You can download the app on your phone and do this. But in this video, I'm showing you how to do it with your PC. So once it reboots, and you do need to have, you know, Bluetooth installed on your PC laptop ETC, otherwise it's not gonna work. So once we've done this, go to this link here. Mesh is called client.meshtastic.org. It's a standard link, okay? And you will be presented with this page here. And it says here, no devices, new connection. We're going to click plus. Now, because by default, the Mishtastic device will always start off sending out Bluetooth, we can't use HTTP, although it's very easy to switch it once we're connected to it. Um, we could use serial. I'm, I'm not sure if by default, I'll find out in a second, if serial is turned on. So what is serial? It means that the, the USB cable will act as a connection direct from your device to your PC. And it looks like it is turned on because look, it's given me the option here to actually select it, but I'm not gonna do that. because so I wanna try and connect via Bluetooth, which I've never done before, so I'm learning with you. So I'm gonna go Bluetooth, new device. And hopefully it finds a device. And if you look up here, look, it's found Meshtastic F6, which is the correct device. So I'm gonna click that and click pair. Now you can see my devices, the flashing has changed. Let's get that so you can see it. And hopefully it will now, I'm gonna click here as well, look, Meshtastic. And we should be able to now configure our device. And you can see it's asking for the, the Bluetooth number there on the device and on my PC at the top there. So we're gonna type that in, which is 7466. Then six to eight, seven, four, six, six to eight. And then we're gonna click OK. A slight delay. Ta-da! We are now connected. Okay, so all the information that we're seeing, I know it's a bit blurry, unfortunately. It's because it's screen the screen's so bright. It's a bit blurry on the on the device, so let's just minimize the device, and you can buy these for about 35 delivered, I think they are. But if we now look at our control panel here, we've got messages. Now, we haven't had any messages. We've got a map. If we try and scroll into the UK somewhere. And you can zoom in and out just rolling your mouse, look. There you go, okay. 
zoomed in. Not showing any devices at the moment on there. Anyway, the map's work, and then we'll go to config. Now, what we haven't done yet is configured the frequency we're going to be using. Now, it's, if you notice here, it does say serial output enabled. That's good. I'm glad that's on. So we're going to configure the the frequency now. So config on the left. Then it says device move over to LoRa. LoRa stands for long range radio, and that's that's the radio part of your thing. So I've been advised to select in my country EU868. I'm pretty sure in the US you select US, okay? And that's 915. And also, someone has advised me to select seven hops, you know, because they, don't forget, these are like repeaters. They repeat themselves. You'll see that it did reboot when we selected the, the frequency. It did reboot. I'm just going to change the hops to seven. And then you can click save up here, top right. Hopefully you can see that there's a tiny little save here, top right. And all this stuff is being sent to the device. So we've set we've selected our you know our LoRa frequency now so that's good let's go back to channels so channels here on the left and the, the channel that it starts off with is just it's called long fast I can see and now I'm new to this all the other channels are disabled I haven't touched them I'm just going to leave it on primary if we go to peers once we start to receive stations now in here we're not going to receive anyone in here um, once we start to receive stations, they will appear here as peers. So you've got channels, peers, config, map, and messages. And you can send a message. We can try and send a message now. I do have another device here, so I might try and do that just quickly. Now we've got our two devices, and if you look here, I've separated it into two screens. Let's shrink that down because they're getting in the way, aren't they? On the left, on the right here, Okay, let's just show you on the right and the left. We've got two windows open. The window on the right, I'll leave a slight gap in between so we know that there's two separate windows, okay? On the right, it's connected via my IP address. Look, 192.168.0.9. And on the actual Meshtastic device, here, if I show you and scroll through with the P, it will actually show keep going an IP address because I've told that one to use HTTP and it is just there in the settings the one on the left doesn't give you that because it's connected via Bluetooth right so let's just shrink that down and the Bluetooth connection is on the left hand side so we've got channels here message now we'll try and send a, a message to the one the other one don't forget these are in the same room I'm just going to pair, make sure the other one's controllable. It looks like we're controlling it anyway. So let's send ham tech on one of them. So there we go, ham. And the idea is that you've got these up high and or you're out and about and you can send and receive messages. So I sent ham tech on one of my devices. And what we were hoping is that that, is a, that appears on my other device. Now, it probably won't, no, my luck, but... Yeah, nothing's appearing at the moment, messages. Let's go the other way. We'll go ham tech. Message sent. Now, is it because it's not linked? We've got nothing there at the moment. I think we are linked, though. If you look on my actual device, it does actually say Hamtech. So it, it has gone. I'm not seeing it on my control panel, but it is actually there saying Hamtech. So it did send it. You anyway, know, I think that you know the main purpose of the video is to show you that you can connect via Bluetooth, you can connect via HTTP or serial connection. Let's see if we can actually do a serial connection in a second. So the cable is connected. Let's do new connection. This time we'll choose serial. And it's given us that number there because the USB cable is connected from the device. I'll show you which device. We have several devices here, by the way. That's this one here, I'm trying to stop them from falling down. Again, that's a Helltech version three. 
and we're going to click connect and the screen has rebooted you just get it the right way around for you it still wants me to pair because the Bluetooth is still active let's just go to channels let's go to config LoRa and it sh is it all no it's unset so let's set that to 868 and we'll do the seven thing like so save and it reboots you can see it reboots sorry if I was in the way of the settings there and I'm doing this, you know, using the serial connection, the USB cable between the device. You can see the white cable there. And we're on, and let's try and send a hi. If we go to message, it's still trying to, because the Bluetooth's active, it's still trying to actually connect via Bluetooth. So we'll go to messages, if we can. Or is it switch to Bluetooth? So I think that's enough for this video anyway. You know, you're getting the idea. The links will be in the description. We've got three devices here that we're tinkering with. I and mean, it's great fun. And if we go out and about or get an external antenna, you can buy antennas for these for, I think, about £30 if you want the external antenna, a couple of adapters. And you do get messages. I mean, I go upstairs and stand in my window and I start to get messages straight away. Uh, not hundreds, but enough to be to make it worthwhile and interesting. So it's off grid. You don't need to use 4G, 5G. You don't need to use your broadband router, internet, because your messages are completely off grid. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now.